What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and I wanted to talk about the new hero coming to AFK Arena, the kind Rosaline or Rosaline, however you want to say it. Uh, she is the new character coming and she's a light bearer, which, which is actually decent because I think light bearers are probably usable now. We'll go over her skills and then I'll talk about more of her uses. So motivation is her first skill. Uh, Rosalyn will continuously follow the ally with the highest attack rating from start to finish. I'm not sure what happens. Well, while following her ally, the damage that Rosalyn receives is reduced by a certain percentage. Using this ability fully restores the energy of the ally Rosalyn is currently following to its maximum. Rosalyn expends a greater amount of her own energy when the amount of energy restored to her ally is higher, with at least... Uh, a certain amount of energy points being expanded each time this ability is used. So I don't know what happens if so. If Rosalind is following my Shamira around and my Shamira dies, what does Rosalind do then? Does she just go to the next strongest person or does she just kind of stand there and fight until she dies? Uh, Crazy Crockery is her next ability. Uh, Rosalind takes out a certain amount of either teacups or... Or teapots and hurls them at an enemy, inflicting a certain amount of damage per item upon the er, per item upon the target, leaving them temporarily stunned. Rosalind will prioritize her attack against the enemy that are attacking the allies she is currently following. So that's really nice. So if she's following my Shamira around, sh and my Shamira is fighting um, Hogan, she'll smack the Hogan with a bunch of teacups and teapots and deal damage on top of stunning them. So that's going to be really, really nice. Uh, next is Afternoon T. Uh, this is a really short skill. Rosalind heals the ally she is following for a certain percentage of her attack rating. Um, that's not bad. Not overly amazing, but not bad. Pretty good skill. Uh, Servitude is the final one. Rosalind raises the attack and defense ratings of the ally she is currently following for a percentage of her own ratings value. So she is a heavy, heavy support character that does damage. She will fit perfectly on my team. Um... Obviously, it's going to be a little bit difficult to acquire her, uh, but she will fit beautifully on my team, if I'm being honest. Um, I'll be able to run her and Shamira. I can run my Belinda again. It, this will mean I won't have the 30% extra defense, but I will do a 3-5 stack, probably. It'll be Shamira, Nara, Baden, Belinda, Rosalind, or Rosalind. Uh, maybe instead of Baden, I go with Kelther. I really have started to love Kelther just the way he plays, but I still think my Mythic... My, I have a Mythic plus Baden, so it's kind of hard for me to not use Baden. But uh, yeah, I kind of got my team all figured out now, and I really love that team um, with Nara, Shamira, uh, Belinda, Baden, and uh, Rosalind. But her use... Her coming to the game and being a really useful character makes light bearers a little bit more viable because you can run Lucius and Hendrix in the front, Fox, Belinda, and her in the back, which is really nice. It, cre it, it just makes a viable team because the issue with light bearers is they have some characters that while good, they aren't like top tier like Hogan. Hogan's not a top tier character he's decent there are uses for him same with angelo and muriel angelo and muriel are kind of useless along with uh marvis those four characters are kind of they're not they're, they're not really high level characters thane is all right but i feel like when i use thane he dies a little bit too quick and astrilda is like a hybrid tank and she just doesn't do it well enough uh in my opinion they had four viable characters um well, they have five viable characters, but it was Belinda, Lucius, Rowan, Fox, and um, Hendrix. Now you have a little bit more wiggle room uh, to play with uh, in Light Bears. I like Fox. I like his ability to zone and take people off the map, but there is some crazy survivability potential, I guess, by using Hendrix, Lucius, Rowan, Belinda, Rosalind. Uh, that's probably going to be one of the more annoying teams to fight against, if we're being honest, um, is a team with those double heals and double, and with the energy regen that uh, 
Rowan has, you could make a really annoying team um, where Rowan is, when Rowan increases Lucius's energy and, and Lucius can put those shields up, man, it, it could be for a real annoying team uh, and a really quality team for Arena of Heroes uh, for the Legends Challenger tournament. Uh, it could be a really, really interesting team or a really interesting piece to yeah, an interesting team to have in that uh, thing. Also a really fun team to probably use because they're going to tank damage and you got Belinda to deal out that AoE spell that she does. It's an interesting team. We'll, we'll see when it drops. I'm going to assume it will drop. There is no date that I saw for it. Um, and Lightbearers was yesterday. So tonight it's going to turn over to Wilders. And then tomorrow night it will turn over to Graveborn. So maybe Wednesday. Okay, so I'm trying to think. In the U.S., Wednesday night it will turn over to Lightbearers again. So maybe that's when we'll get the introduction of the new character. I have gems saved up on my other account as well as Faction Summons. So we will go ahead and make another video doing summons over there. I guess I don't have any Faction Summons over there. But I do have 9,000 gems and some other summons. Uh, looks like I have a full 10 summon of the hearts, and so we will go with that and see what we get. Um, but that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have not, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace.